Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate the real GDP. With that said, let's get into it. So briefly before we get into this video, there's another video on the channel where we teach you how to calculate the nominal GDP. In a way, this video sort of builds on top of that. So if you haven't had an opportunity to take a look at that video, then we can link to it in the description and I highly advise that you check it out and then come back to this one. However, if you don't want to, or you don't have time to watch that video, that's totally fine. This one works as a standalone video to help you understand real GDP. I just want you to know how it compares to its nominal counterpart. So to calculate real GDP, you need to be mindful of two years. That is the year you want to calculate for and something called the base year, which in our example is 2012. And so as you can see, the table in front of us has four products, coffee, tea, pizza, and textbooks. And we are assuming that all of these are final goods. So they would be calculated in GDP. But unlike our other video, this one focuses on real GDP rather than nominal. And to make things really easy, real GDP is simply the current year's quantity or the year you're trying to calculate for times the base year's price. So the base year's price is simply this column right here highlighted in blue. And the current year's quantity is this column here highlighted in blue as well. And so to calculate the value of real GDP, I'm simply going to multiply the base year price and the current year quantity together. So for coffee, that would be the base year price of $1.50 times 2022 or the current year's quantity, which is 100. $1.50 times 100 is $150. The same thing for tea, $1.60 times 75 is $120. For pizza, the base year price of $9 times the current year quantity of 50 gives me $450. And then finally for textbooks, the base year price is 130 times the current year's quantity of 30 is going to give me a product of 3,900. So what you'll notice from this table is that I actually don't use the base year quantity or the current year price in my calculation. They're completely useless in the calculation for real GDP. I'm only concerned with base year price and current year quantity to calculate my values for real GDP. After I've done this, all I have to do is sum up these values. And if I do that, I get a total of 4,620. Now, if you remember back to our other video on nominal GDP, you would know that the nominal GDP for these same goods was higher. Typically, nominal GDP will be higher than real GDP. And that makes sense because typically prices increase. So as you can see from the slide, the current year prices or the 2022 prices are all higher than the base year price. Now, this won't always be the case, but it frequently is. So you can expect the real GDP to be a little bit lower than the nominal GDP in most cases. We hope that this helped you calculate real GDP. In another video, we'll show you how to use real GDP and nominal GDP together to calculate something called the GDP deflator. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, leave us a comment letting us know what economic topics and or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.